Well, Oregon spotted frogs are a native species to western Washington. Over time, uh, they became more rare than they once were. So Oregon spotted frogs like to spend all of their time in the water. And so um, when we look across the landscape trying to find where, where they're at, we're looking for a few things. We're looking for water that's there year round, water that is um, both deep water and also provides some shallow water and water that is sun exposed. Of course, our farmers are helping us tremendously with Oregon spotted frogs across Western Washington. And so farmers who are grazing those properties with their cattle, um, that are mowing those fields, that are haying those fields, they're keeping all of that invasive grasses that were brought into the state for livestock, they're keeping all those invasive grasses in control and that keeps the water flowing through the property and that allows the spotted frogs and other animals to move back and forth through the property. So there's a variety of incentives we use um, that working with private property owners that we can offer them. We go out and seek money that we can offer to these landowners to either A, sell their land if they're interested in that or sell part of their land. The other thing that we can do if landowners want to keep hold of their property but um, they want to make some economics is we can buy a conservation easement. The last thing that uh, we can offer private landowners is a tax incentive. We've had up to 150 head of cattle here. We're kind of trying to back down on that. We're at about 35, 40 head right now, but uh, that's mostly what we're doing. The spotted frog really hasn't hurt me one way or the other. I just can't put the cattle on it from for the breeding season of the frogs. That really didn't affect me anyway because I I really couldn't put the cattle out there in that type of situation because it was too wet. But this here, I don't see where it's going to hurt me at all. Uh, and money's always nice. <laughs> you manage to spend it. So what we can do in our programs and grazing programs like ours is really work to establish a lot of the practices that the Oregon spotted frog finds beneficial. One of the recent findings that we're finding is that the Oregon spotted frog likes to lay its eggs in short grass. The, common procedure for that has been out to go out manually and cut that grass late in the season. On the flip side of that is a lot of man hours, burning fossil fuels and everything else doing that. On the flip side, our cattle are great little opportunistics as they go out and they eat that grass, create that short stubble height. But the Oregon spotted frog in the early spring when it starts laying its eggs and developing its over position sites really thrives at. And it's a great opportunity as a producer to be able to graze late in the season and ultimately that improves some of our bottom line as we don't have to go on to winter feed or quite as early in the season. Some of the concerns that landowners have about having an ESA listed species detected on their property is that it might change how they manage their land. Landowners in Whatcom and Skagit County who are hesitant to work with WDFW on Oregon spotted frog issues, I'd like to tell them that all of the programs that we have are entirely voluntary. So we can come out and assess what types of things someone can do to their property to enhance it for Oregon spotted frogs, but they don't have to do them. I think the biggest thing that I tell property owners and stakeholders with working with groups like uh, Washington State Fish and Wildlife and other e ecology groups is be open. I always find out if you talk to people, you can usually work something out. So every year we're knocking on people's door, we're making our introduction, we're asking them if they wouldn't mind for us to come and do a survey on their property. We're getting funds to help manage those properties and the habitat there so that the Oregon spotted frog have what they need. In many cases there's opportunities for landowners and our partners to work together to find common ground to create better habitat for Oregon spotted frogs.